If you want to have a successful landing page for your service business, regardless if it's for Google ads, Facebook ads, any type of advertising platform, it's pretty simple. All you really have to do is in today's quick video, we're going to be breaking down just a couple of our recent landing pages that we made for our Google ad campaign for our pest control business. This will apply really to any service business at the end of the day. It's gonna be pretty short, sweet, straight to the point. So let's get right into it. First things first, when it comes to our landing pages, of course, we always like to remain with the same header in terms of call for free estimate that gives a call to action right away, just basic stuff, right? And then the first thing that we always like to do is obviously one, let them know that they're in the right place. For example, this is a bed bug ad that we're running on our Google ads campaign that is a $95 off your bed bug service. So we wanted to put that in there immediately and then we wanted to create some sense of urgency. You know, only three spots left on the schedule at this discount. Sometimes we'll even play around with this. We'll use different ad groups and we'll create literally separate landing pages with just little changes like instead of saying, you know, only three spots left on the schedule at this discount, we may say something else like, you know, if a holiday just passed like New Year's, for example, we'll say New Year's deal ends tonight or ends this weekend if we're going into a weekend, something of that nature that just creates some type of urgency. And then from there, just keeping it pretty straight, straightforward. You know, we are the number one bed bug treatment company in DFW. You know, you can put in here some things that you want them to know. And then from there, just straight up contact form. Right below that, you know, just kind of detailing, you know, what what's the problem? What's the solution? And, you know, what separates us from the best in terms of warranty? If you offer a warranty, just, you know, find that thing that makes you different from any other company. You know, what I always suggest doing is going in, just do do a simple Google search real quick of different terms that you're trying to show up for that you know your customers are going to be typing in and take a look at some of your competitors landing pages and see you know what do they claim makes them different and try to just make your claim just that much better obviously you don't want to stress the truth or anything like that but you know like us for example we'll offer a 90-day warranty no matter what on our bed bug treatments and we even have a lifetime treatment warranty package as well available to some of our you know continual pest control customers customers if needed you know if you have some google reviews if you're a new company of course try to get google reviews as quick as possible but ideally you want to have you know at least multiple different reviews just kind of on a carousel there for you and then you know if you want to put something down at the bottom you know you can um, again just something that you may want to test around with this isn't even a good one in all honesty but it is a highly converted page so far we've had multiple leads from this we've already gotten one sell and this campaign has only been been running for less than a week um, we're only using about 50 to 100 dollars as our target spend and we've only spent just over 100 dollars on this campaign so far within the last what four or five days now um, so this is just one example of a landing page that you know like i said you know you don't have to overthink this stuff guys the main thing is is you want to let them know they're in the right place immediately you have some sort sort of urgency and then you know of course you want your offer in there as early as possible as well let them know that you know you're the best at what you do have a super easy contact form that's one thing i don't want to underestimate here guys is you don't want to over complicate your form i'll do some forms again we'll set up different ad groups within our campaign and what we'll do sometimes is, is we'll use a contact form that is we don't even ask for the last name we'll do like first name phone number, that's it. Or we'll do first name, phone number, email, that's it. Um, and then whenever we have a landing page that's converting pretty well, we'll even go ahead and ask, hey, you know, what's your zip code? And, you know, just the last name and, you know, all that different type of stuff. But when you're very early on, I would honestly suggest, you know, just first name, phone number, or first name, email, you know, whatever you're more worried about getting in our industry specifically. And I know most service industry, you know, most of the service industry as a whole, you know, you're mostly wanting the phone number, right? At email, you know, that'll help sometimes, but especially for like email marketing, but we want that phone number at the end of the day. That way we can call them up, text them, all that type of stuff. Try to just follow up as much as we can until we get the close. And then, you know, you're good to go from there. But that is one thing I definitely wanted to make sure to hit on because, you know, if you notice that you're getting a lot of clicks and you're checking Microsoft Clarity, another tool that we talk about on this channel often that's free to use, and you notice that people are kind of checking it out, but, you know, they're kind of sitting in this 
spot right here looking around and then they back out that lets you know that hey this contact form you know you're asking for too much you know we never ask for like the address for example i see some forms for you know like construction companies or maybe handymen things of that nature they'll ask for the full-on address the most that we're ever going to ask for is the zip code in all honesty what you see right here is all that you should ever in my opinion you know be asking for if you want to again, get the most leads possible. If you wanna have a successful landing page for your service business, regardless if it's for Google ads, Facebook ads, any type of advertising platform, it's pretty simple. All you really have to do is have some kind of offer or lead magnet that the potential customer cannot resist and has to click on your landing page. Once they get to your landing page, have a sense of urgency where they think this deal is going to end soon and that they're gonna feel dumb if they miss out on it. A short and to the point contact us form that doesn't ask for too much. It asks for just enough for you to get the information that you need so you can contact them and get the sell. A little bit of information about your service that proves why they should go with you. And then lastly, of course, some testimonials, reviews that shows you are legit and you are who you say you are. And I wanted to show you guys just kind of, again, just one more example here. You know, like we said, you know, let them know they're in the right place. Give your offer immediately. Save $95 off of all rodent control services. Now you can put something in there like a call to action. Schedule your free inspection today. And again, like we said, go ahead and put some kind of urgency in there. Hey, this is a New Year's special. Go ahead and get the $95 off. Again, pretty straightforward contact us form. You know, go ahead and put your stuff in there again. You know, detail the problem, detail your solution, detail what makes you the best. Again, go ahead and put some reviews in there. And like us, for example, you know, we have a video on our YouTube channel about keeping rodents out of the home. So we went ahead and plugged that in there as well. Again, it, I can't stress enough, you know, test it out, you know, do multiple landing pages. That's the beauty of Google ads is you can set up your campaign, then set up ad groups. I didn't mess around with ad groups really at all early on. I would say up until very recently, as a matter of fact, until I sat down because I knew I was like, man, Google keeps pushing this ad group thing. Let me see what it's all about. And what I realized is, is ad groups are essentially your way of being able to do like A to B to C to D, however many tests you want to do. And it makes it where you're not having to create just campaigns campaign after campaign after campaign you have your main campaign your budget your keywords you know all that stuff and then from there of course your schedule and all that type of stuff as well and then from there you can go ahead and break down you know different landing pages different calls to action different headlines you know um, even different keywords you know just different types of things down to the nitty-gritty and see okay which one is working the best and then maybe you know we can go all in on that and maybe it'll even help us with different ads as well again depending on your industry that we are in but that's pretty much it for this short video hopefully you guys did enjoy and hopefully learned a quick thing or two if you're wondering who the heck is this guy and you know what makes him qualified to talk about this my name is griffin thomas i own this pest control company here preferred pest management we've been in business over three years now and you know on this channel i just kind of document my overall entrepreneurial journey i'm not like some quote-unquote marketing expert or anything by any means i just you know everything is self-taught for me i learned through trial and error spending my own money just to put in perspective within the last month or so we've spent about 1200 maybe even more now because we spent another 80 bucks today if i recall like 60 or 80 bucks so you know just over 1200 bucks within the last month um that doesn't include pausing our campaigns for the holidays for about a week and a half so you know i put my own money on the line and just you know through trial and error figure out what works what doesn't work and um yeah hopefully it'll help you you know grow your service business without having to pay some expensive marketing team. If you did enjoy the video, if you did learn something, feel free to hit the thumbs up. It helps the channel out tremendously. And if you're new to the channel, by the way, do me a favor, go ahead and subscribe, hit the bell icon. Um, I try to go live once a week at the minimum for you guys, just to answer overall service business questions, pest control business questions. A lot of um, you guys are here specifically for the overall like pest control business content, but all of this content at the end of the day will apply to any service business at the end of the day. So if you want, check out, we have over seven, 800 videos on the channel at this point. Feel free to check them out. If you have any questions or anything, don't hesitate to shout them out in the comments down below we have a free discord group chat and a facebook group that you can join in my link tree which is down in the description box below and like i said if you have any questions shout it out in the comments otherwise i'll see you in the next one